Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the FAF Quilt Ambition 630. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin and thread your machine. So to start with, use good quality thread. Here we have Mettler Metrosine, which we sell here at the store. Good quality thread. You want to make sure and use good quality thread. So to start with, I'm going to put my thread on the spool pin like this with the thread coming from underneath like that. And then put the spool cap on there. I like to back it off just a little bit because these cross wound threads, sometimes when they get empty, they like to spin a little bit. We don't want to give any, uh, any attention to that. Okay, so for winding the bobbin, you start by going under here like this and then around this way, around that little hook there, and then give it a little tension here at the top as you slide it under this spring-loaded um, little guide there. Now I'm gonna t use the bobbin that's in the machine right now. Make sure you use class 15 plastic bobbins, nothing that's metal or that's uh, wider or different configuration, but the class 15 bobbins, you have extra ones that come in your accessories, but you may wanna get more. And then we're gonna take our thread and poke it from inside to outside like that through the hole in the side of the bobbin. Make sure the thread tail's coming from on, uh, up above. Put this on the spindle for bobbin winding and then push the spindle to the right. Now notice what happens over here. It says bobbin winding is on. That means it's ready to wind. So you can either use your foot control or you can use your start stop button. Now, if you're winding your bobbin for the first time, I'd recommend having your speed slider a little bit slower just so that you can get a feel for that. If you're using your foot control, you can always reduce the pressure on the foot control to make it go slower. So we want to have about six inches of thread up at the top here and hang on to it while we start uh, winding the bobbin. Now, notice I'm letting several layers form on the inside of the bobbin over this thread tail because I want it to be well anchored. So now that I've let several layers form, I snip that off close to the bobbin and then keep winding. Now this will wind the bobbin all the way full and then it will stop. The reason why it'll stop, and I'll show you this, right over here is a little guide or a stopper and as the bobbin is winding and getting close to being full, the thread pushes against this stopper, which will push this back away from where it's winding inside the machine and keep it from overwinding. It's just a safety feature. Now in this case, I decided I don't want to wind a bobbin all the way full. You can if you want to, like if you're using black thread or white thread or gray thread for a lot of different projects. You may want a full bobbin of each of those. But if you just need a little bit of blue, well, that's all you need. So just stop winding at that point. And then there's a thread cutter, real convenient, right there. So putting your thread, your bobbin into your machine, make sure you use, you hold your bobbin so that the thread tail comes off the left-hand side. Think like the letter P, P for FOF not Q. Okay, we want the letter P, so make sure it's coming off the left-hand side. And then we put that down there, and then this little guide here, make sure it comes under that little plastic guide. Now notice the bobbin is spinning while I'm pulling the thread, so stop it from spinning. That gives some tension on the thread. So as you pull it back here, it sinks right down into the guides where it needs to be. Now you can pull this thread around this way, just a little blade. Oops, I gotta stop it from spinning. There we go. Little blade right here that cuts it off. You can start sewing with the thread just like that. You don't have to pull it up through the needle plate. But if you wanted to, there are certain applications like gathering or whatever that you might wanna pull your bobbin thread up through the needle plate, in which case you would just leave it like that, just coming out like this. And then you put your cover on and that is all the part for the bobbin until we have the top thread threaded. Okay, so for threading the top, again, you have your thread on the same way with the thread coming underneath towards you on the spool. Go under here. There's little arrows with dotted lines that kind of show you which way to thread. So this is the same guide for either bobbin winding or threading. 
Okay, so I have it come underneath here, down this way, and then up under here and here. This is the, I like to give a little bit of uphill pressure while I get into the take up lever. So kind of go around like that. If you look in there, you can see which way the take up lever goes. Take up lever is important. Um, that's, you wanna make sure that that is in the up position, like needle up, the take up lever will be up in order to thread your machine easily. And bring it right down here. There's a thread guide right there on the needle bar, right next to the needle. That's important because that's gonna help hold the thread next to your needle so that it can make a stitch easily. Now here's the really magic part, the wonderful needle threader. Go from underneath, under the hook on the left, push the threader down and swivel it forward. Pull the thread across the front, put it right into that fork and hold it at lightly at an upward angle and then swivel it back, let it back up. That little thread tail or that little loop of thread, I'm gonna grab it with a pin. That loop of thread has pulled the thread through the eye of the needle, I had a little knot there. And this way I didn't have to lick stick and poke it through, it's very easy to do. I could even do it without my reading glasses, but uh, that's a, <laughs> for a different time. Now we still need to bring up our bobbin thread if we decided we wanted to do that without cutting it off right here. So at this point, I'm gonna just hold this lightly at an upward angle, do needle down, needle up, and there's my loop of bobbin thread. Now here's my little trick for not having to get my fingers too close to the needle to grab that loop of thread. I just put my thread under the foot like that, take the top thread, swipe it straight back, and that catches that loop. Now if your threads are too long, you can always cut your threads off with a thread cutter on the side here and cut them front to back, back to front, probably works back to front a little bit better. That is basic threading on your FOF Ambition 630. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here at Montevilla. So stay tuned, keep watching, happy sewing. See you later. Bye.